AI jargon bust in part one, LLMs, large language models. So ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, they're all LLMs, yeah? Let's look at what that means. Let's start at the end, model. So a model is a prediction. So like when you watch a weather forecast, they're using weather modeling to predict what the weather's gonna be like tonight and tomorrow based on what it was like yesterday and today. And ChatGPT is doing the same thing. It's just spitting the next word out based on a prediction, which is based on the words that came before it, which provides its context. So like if I say to you, the famous actor Hugh, you might go Jackman, or you might go Grant. Whereas if I say the famous English actor Hugh, you'll almost certainly say Grant. If I say the famous X-Men actor Hugh, you'll almost certainly say Jackman. So the better the context, the more accurate the prediction. But yeah, that's all it's doing. It's just spit, spit, spit the next word out. So that's what modeling is. It's a language model. It's not predicting pixels or other types of data. It's predicting languages. They can be spoken languages like English and Spanish or code languages like Python and HTML. And these models are based on very, very big, large data sets, like billions of pieces of data. Basically think of any written content on the internet that's not behind a paywall, not behind a login. It's just openly available. It's almost certain that ChatGPT and things like that have been trained on that information. So that's what an LLM is. Check out part two to find out what a transformer is.